Hello and welcome back to another Space Engineers Showcase video. In today's video, I'm once again taking a look at one of your designs that you have linked me in the comments section of one of my videos. And if we wish to see some of yours shown on this channel, just leave me the name of the workshop item in the description below, not the link, because YouTube will most likely delete it before I can see it. But for today, we are looking at another large ship, and this one is called the Pincoy Class Frigate V3, which is this lovely thing right here. So this is a large block ship that features everything you need to survive in survival mode, and has got a nice lot of guns on here to be very well defended against any kind of pesky pirates. Pressing F10 and finding it in the spawn menu, the Pincoy Class is 1761 large blocks, using the decorative block number one and number two, economy deluxe and frostbite DLC packs. It features no mods, but does have a few scripts here and there, but we'll see that when we go on the inside. So giving this thing a thumbs up, moving all the way around to the very front. We'll have a quick look around the outside, and we'll have a tour of the interior and see what that has to offer. So at the very front here, this is what we get. We can see front and center, we got ourselves a camera to help steer this thing straight forwards, and we've got a bulletproof glass in front of it to make sure it's nice and protected from any kind of stray shots. Just above there, we can see our bridge where we've got a couple of flight seats to control this thing, as well as a projector table in the middle for you to project something important. As we were to move around the side, what we're going to see is some lovely purple blocks and some lovely clean black blocks that make up the main portion of the ship. We also got a couple of Gatling guns for some added defense, some rocket turrets going along the top there, some interior turrets just in case someone tries to board you, and we can see right there a doorway to get in and out of this ship. Just below there, we've got a couple windows to paint inside at our living quarters. And as we were to continue along the main body, we'll see a few more Gatling guns. Coming around to over to here, we then got some hydrogen thrusters to help us stop. And we'll see even more hydrogen thrusters along the side. Now, hydrogen thrusters are the only form of thrust that appear on this ship, so you are good for both space and planets. If we were to come all the way around to the very back, this is what's going to push us along. We've got two large hydrogen thrusters, which should give us some great speed. We also have a couple more interior turrets to defend our hangar bay doors right there. For you to load in a small ship or maybe even a small land vehicle, for you to go and deploy on a planet and do some exploring with. Just above that, we've got a little connector for a small ship to come and dock up to and unload anything it's collected. If we were to move further up and above this thing, we'll see a couple more hydrogen thrusters, our lovely purple stripe going along the middle, and there is our Gatling turrets, there's our rocket launchers. Now just continue along towards the front over to here. If you were to come all the way down and underneath, past our little camera, right down to here, what we're going to see is a lone connector to dock this thing up, unload anything you collected, restore your ammunition, hydrogen tanks and all that, that's entirely up to you. Then just move along the main body, not too much else to talk about, we just come all the way across to here, where we've got a bunch of hydrogen thrusters to keep us off the ground, and there is the very back. So it's a very nice little ship if you are looking for something to use for exploration in space or on a planet and want to be nice and defended. But what we can do now is just grab hold of my character and we come all the way towards the very back. We'll go in through the hangar bay doors and work our way towards the front. So just dropping all the way down to here, we're instantly greeted by our two interior turrets for some additional encouragement to not misbehave. We'll just come up to this and press the button. Opening that up, this is what we get for our hangar bay. So we've got a very small space in here. So it would be a very small fighter or a couple of very small land vehicles to stock in here. And then in the corner, we got ourselves a little store to sell a few bits and bobs. So we could use this area as a little selling platform. So you just open up the hangar bay doors. They can come in here, drive in here and start to buy and sell stuff depending on what's going on. And you don't have to worry about if any pesky person couldn't do anything in the far as you got a few more turrets on the inside. Now we need to come through this doorway right here. So opening up, we're instantly greeted by a bunch of programmable blocks and a bunch of LCD screens displaying everything about the ship. So just walking across over to here, we can see our jump drives, hydrogen, our cargo use. We can see our reactors, batteries, and all our power inputs and outputs. Over to this one, we can then see our speed we're traveling, stop time, and all that. And over on this side, we can see our air vents, if they're working or not, and what tools are in our cargo containers. Just turning around and over to this section, we do have an interior flight seat, which we can use to fly this around in an emergency, which is very nice stuff. Always good idea to have a secondary flight seat on a ship, because you never know when someone might just slam it into an asteroid. 
Moving around over to this section, we then got another very useful programmable block, which is telling us our cargo containers use our auction hydrogen and power, which is very good stuff. And once again, another interior turret. If you were to move all the way past this room and continue along into here, guess what? Another turret. So you really can't misbehave on this ship or you're going to get torn to shreds. Yes, in here we've got a couple more programmable blocks with nothing on them, so you can set them up if you wanted to. But we generally got the basics already on here, such as a inventory manager and of course a auto door script. Then around here we've got a couple planters, another hidden programmable block in the corner, and a stairs to come up. So just walking up to here and looking up, there's an air vent. And up to here, we've got ourselves an O2H2 generator for an easy drop off. We can also see an LCD screen where we can see that there's a command center all the way down there, which is where we just came from. But opening up this doorway, this is what we get. So this is one of the living quarters we saw earlier as we went around the side. We've got some chairs here to sit on. We've got a big LCD screen to use as a TV and some windows to peer outside. Over on this side, we then got a jukebox to play some music. We then got a small vending machine to sell off a few bits of bobs in case you want to, a proper vending machine to get some clan cola, then a couple of doorways to go through. So the left and right doorways are going to be exactly the same. So opening up that one, what we get is a planter. We've got a cargo container for a quick access, some lockers, a desk and chair setup. We've got a toilet and shower setup. And around here, another sofa, planter, project table, bed, and a armory locker with a ladder moving up. Coming out of this and over to the door on the opposite side. There we go. We have the exact same setup. So there's our desk and chair, toilet and shower, a little TV and chair setup, and a ladder to move up. Coming up to this ladder, we'll then join up to where the other room came up their ladder into this section right here. So there's a ladder to move down onto that side. We've got a forwards and backwards. Only on this one is going to take us to our bridge, but we'll come back to this a bit later. Only on this one, we're going to go further to the back of the ship. So into here, we then got a small intermittent section where we've got armory lockers on both sides, then two doorways that will lead to the outside. And on the outside, this is what we saw at the very start as we started to move around the side. There's our interior turrets, and we should be able to see our living quarters right below there. Coming back inside and then moving to the left, then move past our armory lockers and into another airlock. Opening this up is going to take us to our refineries, and right below here is the O2H2 generator we saw on the floor below. We can do bits and bobs in here if we wanted to, but we can just keep going on towards the back of the ship, where once again a double door. Then in here, we've got a medical bay, another armory locker, a few cryopods for a quick recharge, and some access panels in the floor for some cargo containers. Only on this one, once again, a double door, and this takes us to the very back of the ship. We've got manual access to our jump drives, and we can see another O2H2 generator going on the floors, with a couple of batteries right above us. And all the way at the back, here is our air vent. There's a control panel for the jump drives, and we'll test the jump a bit later. So just running all the way towards the front, opening up all the doors as we go. There we are, quite a few doors to get through. And here we go, towards the bridge. She's looking up, instantly greeted by another interior turret, which is menacingly looking at me as I came through the doors. But this is what we get. Left and right, we've got some flight seats to fly this thing around. And here is our projector table to project any kind of useful thing you can think of. Walking forwards, then turning around, this is what we get. We've got two air vents. Clearly see the interior turret right there. Walking to this side, another interior turret, a survival kit to respawn on and recharge yourself, a cargo access, and a couple lockers around the room. Coming to the opposite side is basically going to be the same thing. So there's the lockers, turret, and cargo containers, and the survival kits. It's time to get into one of these flight seats. Moving over to this seat, then bring up the HUD. We then got a toggle for our hydrogen thrusters, which is going to be our cruise control settings. So just moving forwards and then pressing 1, there we go, we just turn off the forward facing thrusters and we won't slow down. Number two is going to be for our hydrogen tanks to stock power on and off, so we can just turn that on and off as we please. Anyway, moving forwards is going to take roughly 15 seconds to reach maximum speed. Coming to a stop and reversing to maximum speed is going to take roughly 32 seconds. Moving left and right, however, is going to take a whopping 1 minute 5 seconds in order for it to reach maximum speed, which is, well, quite an eye-watering number compared to all the other speeds. Moving down, it takes roughly 33 seconds to reach maximum speed, and moving up, which is the fastest out of all of it, which is quite natural for a ship designed to be on a planet, only takes 5 seconds to reach 100 meters per second. So there we go with that. 
Then moving my mouse around, this is what we get. We've got some nice control over here, a little bit of meat, and it is generally what I prefer to when it comes to a ship. It's not too floaty, and it's got a bit of meat to the controls. But as for that, that is pretty much it for what this ship has to offer. So one final thing to do, which we can do and haven't done for a long time, is find out where the ship has gone, then we'll spawn in the Albatross, give that to the Space Pirates, and we'll see how well that goes. And here we go, I've just given the Albatross to the Space Pirates, there goes the Pink Koi class, then they're going to hammer each other with galley guns, hammer each other with rockets, and it should be quite a interesting and rather spectacular battle. But for the moment, let's just come through the doorway and try to get in, and well, hopefully get to the cockpit before anything disastrous happens. So here we go, now we're going to get into this, we're going to start turning around. We are slowly getting hammered, I might need to just turn away a little bit. Although, it looks like we've disabled quite a lot of their guns already. So we're just going to turn this thing around to make sure that this seat doesn't get damaged. Although we do have the backup seat at the rear of the ship that we can use. Yes, here we go, we're now going to start turning around. There goes our rocket launchers, they found something tasty to blast. And around onto this side, they should have a few more guns to disable. There goes all of our Gatling guns just firing around there. It looks like our seat has been disabled on that side. We're now going to need to rush to the rear of the ship. And hopefully get all the way down. That's the wrong area. We want to come further back. No, we do not. Uh, I'm getting lost. Should be somewhere around here. Oh, God. I can, I can hear the Gatling guns just blasting away. Yes, I've come past the wrong area. I think it's towards the front there where the actual bridge was. But I can hear all the Gatling guns going. I can hear blocks getting destroyed. We need to come down through here. Looks like a few explosions have come through. And... Suddenly, it's quite silent. We'll just move around to here, get into this seat. There we go. Thank God for a backup seat. We are still getting hammered. I think we need to roll this thing all the way over. Hopefully, we've got some guns on that side that can do something. Looks like we damaged two of our thrusters to actually move around properly. We're sort of doing it now back into range. There goes our rocket turrets. There goes our galling guns. And we're doing a bang up job against a ship that is slightly larger and. I think outguns it. There goes a bit more of the front. They are really hammering away at the bridge. And we'll just bring the sun back around just a little bit. There we go. It looks like they are starting to slow down a bit. A few more guns underneath. But I think what we can do to finish this off is, of course, reverse this thing all the way up. And we'll just slam ourselves straight into it. So for combat against another large ship, we did a very good job. We lost a bit at the front, but due to our rear cockpit, we are still perfectly fine at flying this around. And we still got enough thrusters to be able to maneuver. We are missing two of them at the side there, so we are a bit hampered on the left and right. Forwards and backwards, up and down. We seem to be very, very good. And here we go. We're now going to start charging all the way forwards. I'm hopefully lined up. I think I need to aim a little bit down. But you can see in first person view, we've got a few very warped blocks that are covering up some LCD screens. But here we go, directly into the side here. Let's see how they take this. And there we go. That was a very nice bit of damage. It looks like we went all the way through. But yes, that's enough of me having fun with this little ship. There'll be a link to it in the description below if you do wish to download and play around with it yourself. I highly recommend you do. And I think that's part of the albatross just floating away into the distance. Can't quite see it. But yes, as I was saying, there'll be a link to it in the description below if you do wish to download and play around with it yourself. Also a link to the skybox in case you are interested. And I'll be back with another video some point soon. Bye bye.